Today we're going to talk about Dalton's Law. So at constant volume and temperature, the total pressure exerted by a mixture of gases is equal to the sum of the partial pressures of the component gases. So that means when you have a mixture of gases, the, um, the partial pressure of each of those is equal to the total pressure. So you're probably wondering, what is a partial pressure? So a partial pressure is the contribution each gas in a mixture makes to the total pressure. So inside a mixture of gases, there can be multiple gases. The pressure of each of those gases, you are going to add together in order to get your total pressure of your mixture. So the law here is P total, so total pressure, is equal to P1 plus P2 plus P3 plus however many different pressures I give you. So an example problem for this would be, air contains oxygen, nitrogen, carbon dioxide, and small amounts of other gases. What is the partial pressure of oxygen if the total pressure is 101.3 kilopascals and the partial pressures of nitrogen, carbon dioxide, and other gases are 79.10 kilopascals, 0 0.040 kilopascals, and 0 0.94 kilopascals, and those are lined up respectively. Alright, so let's figure out how to do this. So let's write down all of our givens first. So we're told that P total is equal to 101.30 kilopascals. Then we were told that nitrogen has a partial pressure of 79.10 kilopascals. We were told that carbon dioxide has a partial pressure of 0 0.04 kilopascals. And all the other gases, so P of other, has a partial pressure of 0.94. And the question asks us, what is the partial pressure of oxygen? So in order to do this, we're going to have to set up our equation in order to solve. So we can go ahead and write in what these are. So we know what our P total, our PN2, our PCO2, and P other are, and we're solving for P oxygen. So here we just have to do a little bit of algebra in order to get partial pressure of oxygen by itself. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to rearrange my equation just like I always do. So it's going to be P total minus PN2 minus PCO2 minus P other is going to give me partial pressure of oxygen. Now I can just plug in my numbers. So P total is 101.3 kilopascals minus 79.10 kilopascals minus 0 0.040 kilopascals minus 0 0.94 kilopascals is going to equal the partial pressure of oxygen. Hold on one second, let me get my calculator. Alright, so if we do have that math, we would get 101.3 minus 79.1 minus 0.04 minus 0.94, and that would give us a partial pressure of oxygen.
equaling 21 kilopascals. Have to make sure to use the right amount of significant figures here. So our smallest amount of, sorry, 21.2. So like I said, we have to use the correct amount of significant figures. When we're adding and subtracting, we're looking for the number that has the least amount of decimal points. Here it is 101.3, so we have to make sure to have one place past the decimal point. 